Hey friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Excuse my outfit and my lack of makeup, although I do have my very first skincare routine that I wanna share with you guys. Look at my skin. Like, are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? My skin used to be really red. I mean, I do still have redness because I'm just, this is like the third week of me doing it probably, maybe even the second. But I will show you guys what I'm using a little bit later. That is one thing I wanted to do. Just a little at-home vlog so that we can catch up. Um, I feel like I haven't had just a daily vlog. And then I think I'm going to make this like part of it today. And then I'll continue vlogging tomorrow but still add it into this vlog. I have been keeping up really well with the house. So like the kitchen's already... I have a few dishes that I need to clean. But I've been like cleaning the table at night and stuff like that, so it's been going good. But I'm gonna make my cold foam because I just made a pot of coffee. I usually use a glass cup and I think someone jacked it. I told you guys in my grocery haul that James got me another one of these little, this one's like fancy, another one of the little um, the milk frother thing. So I am just gonna take some heavy whipping cream I like to do this in a glass cup because you can see it, so you guys aren't going to see it very well. Um, but I'm just going to put a little bit of heavy cream. Like literally, I, you can't see because it's white. You can see it <laughs> through there. And then I am going to be using the this salted caramel skinny syrup, zero calories, zero sugar. Um, I got it at Ross. So I'm just gonna do a, uh, that was probably too much. It gets like, tastes weird. So now I'm gonna froth it up. It's actually kind of chilly outside today, which is, yeah, it's 60, but it was cold this morning, which is why I'm wearing this. This is like my take the kids to school flannel thing, cause it's so soft and comfy. Um, but I'm gonna be drinking hot coffee. Oh, it did a really good job. Look, watch. Look how thick that is. <laughs> Yum. <sighs> Winning. Don't mind my two fingers missing nail polish. <laughs> I DIY'd them. But we're going to go to my back office. Talk about the office situation because I've really been enjoying it. You guys usually see me vlog right here on my kitchen counter. This is where I would sit. And here's my uh, Echo Show 15. But I've really been enjoying having all of my, cause I would have all my stuff like piled up here and it's right next to the sink and it would get wet sometimes and stuff. So I've really enjoyed having all of my stuff back in my office, but my office majorly needs a makeover. So we're gonna talk about that back there too. Today I'm gonna take you guys around the house cause I did finally redo all of my walls. So I'll show you guys that. I also got some pillowcases from Amazon that are really cute and I'll show you guys those in a little bit. But starting off, I'm gonna be chilling here for a little bit because I do have an HEB haul to upload. And I do have some invoices to do, but see how I can have like all of my stuff spread out, literally, um, compared to in the kitchen. And I knew I wanted to get back here but I knew it needed a lot of work, so I just had been, I had a bunch of stuff piled up here and I still do, like all this paperwork needs to either be filed or thrown away. That's my grandmother's photo, I'm gonna put it on the wall. Not her actual photo. It's a picture of Jesus that lights up that was in my grandmother's house and they gave it to me and I'm gonna hang it back here because it's special to me. I have so many things I wanna decorate with to make this literally like my own space in the house. There's so much stuff I wanna do back here and I originally thought I wanted it to be this color because I am still doing a Mexican theme back here, um, but I hate this color. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Obviously these are not stainless, this will be black like that one. I was able to paint that one a few weeks back. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end up doing this side purple, um, like a plum purple, like this, uh, color. Let me see. Like this color. It's my favorite color. It's like a plummy fuchsia purple. 
So I am going, going to paint all of these walls, but to make it more like literally my little space, my little box, I'm only gonna paint the purple from this line over. This will all be purple, 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 black, purple, and that's it. And then all of this, I'm gonna just paint regular like my house, um, like a white color. Uh, I It's called spun cotton. I think I'm gonna do all of these cabinets purple like the walls. So this will be purple, purple, purple. And then obviously I'm gonna redo, like literally redo all of this for like a little like Mexican boho theme. All right guys, it is much later in the day, 2.30. I don't remember what time I was talking to you guys, like 11, 10? I don't remember, but I kind of took it easy today. Um, I was editing and uploading a video and of course, like usual, it was giving me trouble. <laughs> For some reason, the video wasn't saving correctly. I don't know why I've been on like such an unlucky path with this whole YouTube thing, but you know, I'm working through it. I'm just saying like every time something, every time I try to upload some, something goes wrong. I don't know why. So we're working through it. I spent a bunch of time in the office. Um, what else did I do? I signed up for Camila's to be a chaperone at Camila's field trip. And James and I were working on some house stuff. Um, we need to do some restroom repairs in our restroom. And I was like, get on that because he wants to do the restroom repairs before we do anything else in the house. And I have so much stuff I wanna be doing in the house that I'm like, get this stupid restroom repairs done so that I can move on. I still wanna get, I still want to get Reagan a um, dresser for his room, but I want to thrift it because I want a good sturdy dresser, either that or get one from Ikea, which also is not very sturdy. So we'll just see how that goes, I don't know. Um, I wanted to go over my skincare routine because it's something that I just started within the last two, three weeks, right after spring break, that week after um, is when I started. And I just found all the products like off of TikTok. So, which I know can be kind of like eh, but I feel like it's working really well. Like my skin has never looked so good. I was editing the HEB haul and I was just like, gosh, I look so like young and just like healthier. Um, and I don't know if it's like this, I think it's a combination of like the skincare routine, still taking my vitamins, still trying to work on my hormones. Um, I think moving forward, I just need to refocus on my eating. I'm not eating during the day again, which is a really bad habit that I fall into being a stay at home mom. And then I'll just snack on things and I won't like get enough protein in for the day. So I really need to refocus on that, but I haven't done that yet. But anyways, let's get into what I'm using for skincare lately. Now I am gonna say some of this stuff I want to perfect and get better quality items, but this is just what I'm starting out with. And um, most of this stuff, let's see, four items I found on at Walmart. I wanted it to be where I could repurchase it over and over without it being an inconvenience to me. And the other two items I had to order off of Amazon. So I'm gonna go in order, like say uh, it's the end of the day, I have my makeup on and this is what I am doing in order. So first I am using this Versed um, Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. It's like um, oil, or well they say it's an oil, but it's like in this form. Just dip your finger in there and massage it into your face and it melts off all of your makeup, your mascara, your eyebrows, everything. You just massage it in and it melts it all off. And then you can wipe it off with like a makeup eraser or put water and just kind of massage it off. And then after I do that, I go in with this Vanna Cream uh, cleanser. It's just a gentle facial cleanser. So one thing about me is I have really sensitive skin. I have to be very careful about what I put. Um, this is dermatologist tested for sensitive skin. Um, it has no scent or anything. So I just go in and cleanse with this. And then after I have cleansed, I kind of let my face dry. I change into my pajamas. And then that's when I start the other um, serums and moisturizers. So I use this Coco Kind um, skin barrier. It is the ceramide skin barrier nourishing daily serum and I just put a couple of drops It is like a little creamy 
consistency. I put a few drops and then just massage that into the skin. I let that dry and then I go in with the Coco Kind um, Revitalizing Eye Cream. I love this stuff because it has a metal applicator and it gets really cold. So you can give yourself like a little eye massage with the cold metal applicator. Love that so far. And then after I do those two items, three times a week because like I said I have sensitive skin I am I did start a gen gentle retinol cream so this is the good molecules retinol cream it is very gentle so it hasn't had like I haven't broke out or purged or anything like that and I just take a, a little pea sized drop of it and then ah, it's already the I hope I didn't waste it but that was pretty much how much I use for it and then I just massage that into my skin let that sink in a little bit and then I will just go in with um, this daily moisturizer and this is the one thing that I would want to change sorry the baby came out to play with her toys so you're gonna hear that in the background but I would like to change my daily moisturizer I just haven't found one that I'm fully committed to or like so in the meantime I am using the CeraVe just moisturizing cream it's a giant tub of it like it's I, I could have this for years like this is gonna take forever to go through but I did tell James that he should put it on his face as well like after he's groomed and you know washed his face and taking care of his beard and stuff he should just go in and moisturize with this but um, so far this combination has been really good and then in the morning I just cleanse again with the Vanna cream and then let me show you guys my daily moisturizer Okay, so for a daily moisturizer, just to go under my makeup, I am using the Cetaphil Daily Oil Free Facial Moisturizer because it has SPF 35 in it. And like I said, I do have very sensitive skin. I am out in the sun quite a bit when it comes to summertime. And I just wanted to make sure that I had something that did have SPF. Once again, these are drugstore products. Um, so you're not, it's not nothing high end. So far, I am loving the combination now I will tell you adding in the retinol cream was the game changer I pretty much went a week and a half with just these products and it wasn't I've only used this twice and in the two times that I've used it I have woken up in the morning like holy guacamole this is insane my skin looks so good and it definitely has to do with the retinol cream I believe so I'm going to continue using it and I hope that my texture will go away and the redness and I'll just like even out my skin like I am so excited about this whole situation so I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick I'm going to go put all these products away probably put the baby down for a nap and then I'm going to show you guys everything I've done around the house Okay, baby is down for her nap, so let's go ahead and start over here in my coffee bar area. You guys would see this behind me, and it was a mess. It was such a mess. I don't know if you guys remember. You could probably go back to, like, older vlogs from a couple of weeks ago and see that I had just thrown stuff up here after Christmas and all that so I just went in and curated each shelf I did move these two photos they were on this wall right here next to this print so I went ahead and put those two photos up there then I have that heart that Reagan welded me out of horseshoes and just some little you know decor there these are the things that i sorry i am like battling it out with this chair um but <laughs> anyways these are the things i picked up in laredo the little salt and pepper shaker this um bowl this cup and this was all from laredo this past spring break so i went ahead and displayed those i got rid of i used to have like a tiered tray right here and it would collect so much crap i said i'm done with it so this little mug holder used to be right here i just moved it down to here added in all of my mexican pottery my talavera mugs my new mugs i just added all those here i did put these mugs that i got I use them quite often from Amazon. I do have those there. And then I was able to use this cute little dish that Julieta had brought me from Mexico. And I just put these little spoons that came with these cups in there. 
And then this is the mug that I picked up for James for his iced coffee. So I just have that displayed there, our coffee maker and our coffee. And then this is where my little frother goes. And then this little thing I picked up from the dollar spot at Target years ago. So moving over here, I do need, I had a round plate right here and it fell and broke. I know, so sad. But I moved these plates over from my front dining room to here. And then the artist who painted this print also painted that print. And I got I got this one at King Williams, I believe. And then I got this one at Muerto Fest. So I have purchased those at special events each time. And then look at this top little plate. I've had it for years. My aunt had the boys make it. That's Reagan's hand when he was four and Dane's hand when he was 22 months. They made that in 2010. And I just have that little plate there. Like I said, I have a nail here. I need to get another round plate. And then this stayed the same, the mirror and the flowers. This also stayed the same, the mantle. And all of my Thala Veda that I have throughout the house onto this wall and I really love it. It also gives me goals of what I need to buy. Eventually I would like it to be a little bit more full of Thalavera, but this little cow I picked up in Laredo during spring break this year. I picked this up in Laredo last year. Um, I believe that that's old. And then this set of three butterflies I picked up in Laredo. Um, during last year football season. This we picked up in Laredo this October. And then this one is actually from HEB, probably like five, six years ago. And then this one I just got in from Laredo spring break. I believe this is from King Williams Fair. Uh, I didn't write on it, but this one is a little bit newer as well, probably last year. This one has broke and I glued it back together um can you see where i glued it look see but that's also from laredo a couple years ago and then reagan welded that cross for me and then over here i took the mirror down that i used to have there i put up this print that my aunt gave me i kept this the same i think no there was a sun here and i added a cross oh it was that sun <laughs> and then i had something else here but it said the same thing that this says so I had to take it down, but I wanna put a family photo right there. Y'all, I put it in slow-mo, but I was able to catch it. This pretty much stayed the same. Um, I added in this little heart, moved this G over here and added these two photos, but pretty much the same. And then I think you guys saw that. These are my flowers from Laredo. These are the new pillow covers that I ordered that I didn't get to show you guys and they actually match my rug. And then I moved these from the playroom to down there. And let me show you since I showed you those. I also picked up these pillow covers from Amazon. Um, so we have those that are new and these that are new. This is a tortilla blanket. <laughs> And then I hung up my three mirrors from Laredo. That's the set of three. So I went ahead and put those there, left that family photo there. And then I moved the big mirror here, like I said I was, and just left it by itself like that. And that's pretty much it, I think. I still need to work on this area. I want to add more family photos. And I have Josie's name from my aunt. I just need to find it, stick it up there and get like a little piece of trim to make it blue. Hey guys, it's the next day. So yesterday when I was gonna go do some shopping with you guys, um, I took Kyla to her volleyball and it, I went to the wrong gym. So her last, it was her last practice and so they were at a different gym and because they were at a different gym that they're normally not at, I didn't feel comfortable just leaving her there and going to run errands. So I just sat there 
with her for a little bit. So that was pretty much all we did for the night um, after we went to get some snacks or whatever, but nothing major. But today I am having a little mom's day out. I was able to leave the baby with um, my mom and her cousin, Esme. And so we are gonna run into Home Goods. I had talked about wanting to go into Home Goods for wooden spoons, and that's why I'm here. But I'm also just gonna look around and see what they have for spring and summer. Sometimes they do have my type of decor during this time. It's just gonna depend on like the pricing or whatever. And then I wanna run into Ross just cause um, Camila needs some new socks, unless I find socks here. And <laughs> I don't know, I was just kinda thinking I wanted to run into Ross. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that, but we are for sure gonna go to Costco today as well. So I'm excited to have a little mom time gonna run into home goods I haven't been to home goods since Christmas time I think pretty sure Christmas time which I love home goods at Christmas time actually I came during Easter but I didn't go to the home side I went to the TJ Maxx side wow they are fully stocked with treats all this cuteness look at this fairies this is adorable look at this for a little fairy princess party. That is so sweet. Okay, I do love these zero calorie. Look at this cinnamon swirl for my coffee, $5.99. You know what I was noticing? The one I have at home has a lot of sodium, the salted caramel one. But anyways, I'm gonna get this cinnamon swirl. Y'all, I can't even, what is this? Is it a cookie jar? It's tape. Pretty sure that's a cookie jar. These tote bags are so cute. Oh, for teacher appreciation. How much are they? Okay. I don't know how much they are. Oh, $5.99. That is so cute. I debated getting a egg pan because you guys now have been rocking that one with no handle. But I'm gonna wait and get a good one from like Princess House to match my other stuff. And I didn't get to record over there because it was so busy. There was tons of people, so. Okay, um, I'm not seeing any wood spoons like that I need. Um, Maybe they don't even make them. Look at all these. So, I guess it's gonna be harder to find than I thought. I mean, these shelves are like overflowing with stuff in here. A green Yeti, $24.99. This is cute, Hydro Flask. Kyla wants an Awalo cup. I don't think they have them here. I love this $80 cactus photo. It doesn't look as good on camera, but it's really pretty in person. I also love this mirror, but we all know I have way too many mirrors. Look how pretty that is. That one is 70. It's I want a fun lamp for my office this one's 60 dollars look at that wouldn't that be hilarious like it's my office i can do what i want <laughs> um maybe one day i'll come and get that these pillows are the cutest i love the colors and patterns and then the blankets on the other side were darling i love this one at the end that is so pretty. It's like wool. And then look at this. So fun. See all the colors? Super cute. Look at the pillows. Very cute. So far I haven't gotten anything, which is kind of sad. <laughs> I have this one for $19.99, which isn't bad at all. Um, I don't really... I don't know. I don't know if it's the colors or the shape, but it's not really my favorite. But that's a good deal. It really is. 
These carrot stools <laughs> are adorable. They're so cute, I love them. <laughs> They would be so cute at an in, like on each side of the door for Easter time. Here is everything I was looking for. Snail nay. $24.99, that's not too bad actually. Um, this ugly dog, <laughs> like wow. I have butterflies already. This one's cute. For where? For where? Where am I gonna put it? I like this sun for my wall of the Lavetta. 40. 24.99. If I didn't already have those three butterflies, I would definitely get that. And just, I think this is too big. They need to be like, well, I could probably make it work, but. Just not speaking to me. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely gonna take this picture frame. It's $16.99. A lot of the times the Indian artwork matches the Mexican artwork that I go for. Like this is like a rustic wood look. It is made in India, but let's see, does it have a hang? Yes, it does have where you can hang it on the wall. So I could put a family photo in that love it and that's a really good price all of these outdoor pillows are to die for I love all these colors oh these are cushions oh for my two chairs outside how much is a set of cushions $24.99 do I want green or like bright colors okay because here are some other ones I have two chairs at my front door and $24.99 is not bad at all I mean, should I go with these it's kind of cute hmm let me think about it y'all I'm about to spend $60 on socks because they'd be regular $80. And these are the socks my kids wear. So this is $30 for two of this style, which Dane and Kyla wear. And $30 for this style, which Kyla and Reagan wear. 60 bucks in socks. So silly, but it's summertime. And then I showed you guys that frame. I found my mom this pretty card. It's only $2.99. And then I got Camila socks because I told you guys she needed socks. Um, so I got her these BCG ones, BCBG ones for $5.99. And then I did get her these Nike socks for $9.99 so that she can wear them to her volleyball games. Um, these are just like a youth set. So a million dollars of socks. That's what happens when you have five kids. And then you guys saw this. And then I just got two short sets for Camila. This one is a cute little, has little cargo shorts. Look, they're so cute with a drawstring. And that one is $11.99. And then this Hello Kitty, she doesn't like purple at all, but it has Hello Kitty. So I feel like she'll wear it $9.99. I'm wondering if she's gonna wear it. <laughs> Cause she's very much like, Ew, purple gross. This is so cute for when we go to Disney in July, but I haven't figured out what we're gonna wear yet. So I need to wait, figure that out, and then I can buy whatever I'm gonna buy. Okay, we are at Costco. I ended up spending so much time in that Home Goods TJ Maxx. It's 12 11, and I feel like I went in like at 10 30. So I was probably there for like an hour and a half, but I did do both stores, I guess. And I ended up going from like barely buying anything to spending $137. Half of my budget went to stupid socks, which is so annoying, but totally normal when you have five kids and those socks are super expensive. It's 
and it's like the socks everybody wears and so it's like a whole deal so they hadn't had them in stores like that like I used to find them back in the day I used to find them at Ross and Marshalls and TJ Maxx all the time and now it's like rarely you find them so when I found them I had to buy literally four packs because if not I'll end up paying the regular price which is like $22 which is crazy so I am starving. I'm going to get something to eat here. I think I like that chicken bake thing because um, I don't really feel like pizza and I don't like the pizza here at Costco. I like the pizza at Sam's better, but I'm going to see what else they have because I've never even really like checked or whatever. It looks very busy, so I don't know if I'll be able to film that much in there, but I'll show you guys what I got. And if I see something that's like, oh, you guys have to see this, definitely I'm going to film it. <laughs> Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. I am just getting out of Costco. It's one o'clock. Um, the lighting is gonna be weird, look. Is it adjust? Should I stay out here? I hadn't got one of these giant bins because it was only $7.99 and I'm gonna put all my Easter stuff in it. See it? <laughs> they had a smaller one, but it was also $7.99 and it's like, I don't technically need the big one, but why would I pay the same price for a little one, right? And then I got toilet paper. I actually like Costco toilet paper better than Sam's because the rolls last longer and then that's less time I have to change. I got this four pack of light bulbs. Is it four or six? One, two, five, six pack of light bulbs. You can change it to whichever setting you want, which I thought was crazy. It was $12.99. These are the light bulbs that I have in my shower can lights. And then I got this Tide. I couldn't figure out which Tide I wanted because the one I like is at Sam's. But I went with this one with the downy. Look how the lighting adjusts. I got James this water hose. It is 100 feet for $22. Just a black water hose. And then it was regular $27.99, so it was on sale. And then I got myself this cute little athletic dress. I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully, yes. It's got like a cinched waist with a drawstring and it has little pockets. I got the extra, extra large. And that's it from Costco. Okay, hopefully the lighting adjusts, but this is the frame that I bought from HomeGoods. And I was, I have a photo that actually is horizontal, so I think that's gonna work out better. I need to print it, but I'm planning to put it like right here, and then I can adjust those other items. Sorry if the lighting sucks, but pretty much that empty spot that's where this guy is gonna go. And I have the photo from when Dane and Kyla got baptized. It's in church and I just really like that photo. I also like that it represents the day they both got baptized. So I'm gonna print that one out with Walgreens, which by the way, I have to print out my February pictures and March. But I'm trying to do like one month at a time. So I need to do that. Okay, and then for these, it says that there's a switch on them. I prefer the cool light, cool daylight or daylight. No, I prefer daylight, not cool daylight, just daylight. Wow, that's insane. There's literally a switch. So daylight is what? I think there's a thing. Daylight is 500, no, yeah, 500K. So I have to put this switch to 500k. Isn't that insane that the things are coming up with these days? You see, get an app. Oh no, is that? No, that's not. Oh, was it already on mine? This okay. is cool light, which is 6500. So actually, cool daylight was the one that we like. No, we're not sure. This is. Cool oh, okay. You see, you're right. It's more like a hospital. Or oh, like yeah, it's blue. It. It's bluish. While it's on, no. No. Okay. Okay, that's more of your white. Yeah, you see that's. Ah, uh, okay, okay. White, 
Or you're white. I don't know if you guys can see. And then oh, soft. Gosh. And then the, ew. <laughs> but it's probably too much yeah, yeah. that's perfect I it's think. for the shower too it's gonna oh, be weird oh my god <laughs> for my our shower yeah heck yeah i want the blue one for sure then. cause they're out hell yeah <laughs>